Hello, in this video we're going to talk about how to add Mixamo animations to your UE5 mannequin and therefore you can also use it for your metahumans if you've watched the previous videos that I've uploaded. So if you don't know, Mixamo is a website uh, that you, you can get access to free characters and animations and there's a lot and you can use them in your projects. Um, as well. Uh, the only problem is that when you import these, you can't actually use them on the UE5 mannequin and um, that can be a uh, problem. So let's go ahead and choose a character um, from the characters tab. I'm going to choose Xbot right here and you're going to click on download and make sure that you choose the format FBX and that the pose is T-Pose. So you're going to hit download right here and it's going to go into your downloads folder. Once you have that, you're going to go back to your UE5 project. This is a basic third person template project with nothing extra. We're going to create a new folder and to import the um, Xbot that we just downloaded. I'm going to call this assets. And we're going to go here and I'm going to click on import and I'm going to choose um, Xbot right here, which we just downloaded. I'm going to hit open. You're going to see this window which asks you um, for a bunch of um, options. Make sure that you're, you don't need to change anything, but uh, the skeletal mesh and import mesh need to be checked here because uh, we don't have the skeleton for the Mixamo characters in our project. So this will tell it to generate it. And we're going to hit import. And we're going to get a warning about the smoothing groups, which we're going to ignore. It doesn't matter. If and we're gonna close this. So now as you can see, we have the um, imported skeleton and the skeletal mesh, some physics assets and the materials. Um, now we're gonna open the skeleton to take a look at it. And you can see that the skeleton starts from the hip and there's a bunch of different bones here all the way to the end. Now if I open the skeletal mesh of the, if I open the skeleton of the man mannequin as well, the UE5 mannequin, you'll see that it is quite different. So the root is different. It's all like over here. There's no hip bone. There's a pelvis bone, but that's not the root. And then there's more spines than there are, for example, in the X bot spine where there's only three bones for the spine. So that's why um, animations are specific to the bones. Um, and as you can see, the bone structure of the x -bot is different than the SK mannequin. So we need to, to tell UE5 um, in a way that how to map the skeleton to the UE5 skeleton. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do and explain how it works. So you can do it with any skeleton from here on forward. So the way you actually tell um, UE5 the, the way to map between different skeletons is by using an IK rig. So let's go into the content browser and let's go to the assets and let's right click, go to animations and then go to IK rig and choose the IK rig here. And um, it asks for the skeletal mesh to use for this IK rig. We're going to use Xbot and we're going to call it IKR Xbot. So let's go ahead and open this and you'll see the uh, a window similar to the skeletal window where you have all the skeletons to the left and you have a um, IK retargeting a window over here which is exactly what we want to do right we want to retarget sp specific bones to bones in for the UE5 mannequin in order to show that I'm going to open the IK rig for the UE5 asset so I'm going to go into rigs and I'm going to choose IK mannequin and let's open that up so as you can see over here we see the, all the bones in the um, UE5 uh, mannequin but on the right we see this window is not empty anymore right there are um, different chain names of bones with different bones and stuff um, and the way retargeting works is if we had to retarget every bone uh, every single bone to every single bone in, UE in the UE5 mannequin it would take a long time um, and it would be painful and also there isn't the same amount of bones so the way UE5 handles this is it groups a bunch of bones together and and gives that group a name that makes sense right so for example if you look over here there's a spine group which consists of the bones spine one to spine five so if i show you that if we go to spine one select it only right so if i choose spine one spine two spine three and four and five you see it takes all this collection of um, bones and it calls it spine 
uh, and that's how it groups all these bones together. So we need to do the same thing for the X spot and we need to tell it which bones to treat as the spine. And then uh, UE5 will automatically map those bones to these bones right here. And the way it maps it is by the name of the chain name. So whatever we name the chain name we put for the um, IK bot has to be exactly the same as here. The other thing I want to bring to your attention is that there is a root here and and the there is a retarget root. Okay, so we we can see that the pelvis is the retarget root, and so in our case we're going to go into our hips, uh, which is the same as the pelvis, and we're going to right click on it and set it as the retarget root. This is this this is the base of the retargeting, and every other bone is um, associated to this retarget root. So once we do that, now we go back to the IK mannequin, and we see that there is all the way at the bottom, um, there is a root, and the root uh, chain is the actual the base, the root that um, we just talked about. So we need to create the same thing here. Now we're going to right click on the hips. And then we're going to click on new retarget chain from selected bones. And remember, we said we this new name needs to be exactly the same as the name in the UE5 one. So we're going to call it root. And then we're not going to choose a uh, goal. We don't need to for what we're doing. So this creates a chain right here. And it's going to associate this root with this root over here. So over here, we can see that the head chain consists from the bones neck one all the way to head. So you can see one, two, and three, and you can see how it's highlighted here. So we're going to choose the same bones in the um, in the uh, X spot skeleton, which kind of associates to these bones, and then call it head. So if we go back to X spot, we see that we have neck and head, um, and then there's a head top end, but there's no bone associated in the... Um, in the IK mannequin. So we're not going to pick that one. We're just going to pick the neck and the head and we're going to right click and choose new retarget chain and we're going to give it the same exact name head and we're going to click OK. And this is the steps we need to repeat uh, for all the different bones. So for example over here you can see we have right shoulder. If you go back to the UE5 mannequin um, you can see that we have this bone right here and instead of calling it right shoulder it's called a right clavicle. So if you go to the clavicle R, you see this shoulder um, bone right here. Um, you can see that it they chose that separately and they called it right clavicle. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to choose the right shoulder. We're going to right click, choose new re, um, retarget. And you can see the name is called right arm. That's not the name we want. We want it to be the exact same thing. So we call it right clavicle. And this is basically the process that you need to do for all the different bones. Um, and I'm, I'm showing you the details of it so you understand why and how it works so you can repeat it for any bone that you want. So for example, we want to do the um, spine. So I'm going to choose the spine, spine 1, spine 1, and, and spine 2. And now you know why I choose these bones because I compare it with the UE5 mannequin. So I'm going to right click choose new retarget from chain and we're going to call it spine because that's what it's called uh, in the UE5 mannequin and no goal. Now let's do the right arm. So we're going to choose, we already did the right shoulder as the right clavicle. Then we're going to choose the right arm. So all these three pieces on, until the thumb, we don't want to pick the thumb. We're going to right click new retarget from chain and we're going to call it right arm. And just to show you that, if you look at the Let's find the right arm here. You can see it starts from upper arm and then it goes all the way to hand. So if I if I find the upper arm here, let's go find the right hand. So you can see upper arm right, upper lower arm right, and then hand right. So it chooses all these three and it calls it right arm right over here so we do the same thing and i think you get the idea i don't want to um, show exactly how all of them work so we're going to do the same thing here for the right thumb we're going to choose right thumb one two four and we're going to right click and we're going to set as right thumb because that's the name that the ue5 one has and goal we're going to do that for the index as well
We're going to do that for the right middle finger. And then the right ring finger. And then finally the right pinky. This may seem like a bit of a long process, um, but the good thing about it is that you only do it once and you can basically import any animation from the Mixamo into your character. So it's it's worth it if you're actually you, uh, uh, planning to use a bunch of animations. Um, you do this once and you're pretty much good to go. So the last piece left for the right side of the body is the um, leg. So if we go down and find the right leg, um, we can see the right of leg, right leg, right foot, right to base, and right toe to end. We're going to choose all five, and we're going to right click, near we try it bone, and we're going to call it right leg. Okay, so now uh, we have all the right side done. Um, so you might be a bit worried that now you have to repeat this whole process for the left side. Um, the good news is um, that's not the case. You can pretty much, um, for example, I can choose right clavicle, right click, hit on mirror chain and uh, I just basically give it a name and it mirrors it to the left side of the body. So if you want to do a bunch of them all together you can just pretty much shift click. So I'm going to choose all of these right here. I'm going to right click mirror chain and then it's going to ask me for the names. I just want to make sure that the names are not messed up um, and they're exactly the same as the ones in the UE5 mannequin. Looks like they're fine. So once you have that, you're pretty much good to go. You're going to hit save and we can close this and we can close the IK mannequin. And let's go back into the content browser. Now that we have the IK rig, now we just need to retarget it. And the way you retarget is you right click, go to animation and go to IK rig. And this time we want to create an IK retargeter. And it tells you what are you, what do you want to retarget from? The source is the XBOT and our target is the UE5 mannequin. So you're going to choose the XBOT right here. And we're going to call this RTG for retargeter and XBOT to many. So let's go ahead and double click this. Let's zoom out. So you can see our XBOT on the left side. And on the right panel, you see the source and the source is XBOT. And we're going to choose the target. For the target, we're going to choose the IK mannequin, and um, you'll see it spawned it right on top of the X spot. So you can move it to the right by changing the target mesh offset like this. So we're going to move it up a little bit to the right, and we have our two characters standing side by side. And now we can we're ready to import some animations. So if you go back to um, Mixamo. Yeah, you, you, you can go back onto the animation section and choose an animation of your liking. Uh, I chose the MMA kick. You can choose anything that you like. Um, as long as it doesn't have root motion, meaning the character is not moving forward or backward. So I'm going to choose the MMA kick and then you're going to hit download. Um, one important thing is you have two options here with skin or without skin. We don't need the actual skin because we already got it. Um, so you're always going to choose without skin for the animations. And then you're going to hit download. So once you download it, you go back to Unreal Engine. You're going to open the content browser and you're going to import that animation. So we're going to go back to our assets and I'm going to hit import and I'm going to choose the MMA kick and I'm going to hit open. Um, it's going to ask for the skeleton. You want to make sure you choose the X spot skeleton here. Uh, and then because that's what the animation is for. So you hit import. And you have your MMA kick. You can you can check it to make sure it, it's fine. And now if we go into our retargeter, we see that we see that animation here. Now if I hit this and double click on this animation, you'll see it play. Uh, but you'll see that the arms are looking a bit weird. Um, and the reason for that is the following. So if I stop this, you see that the XBOT uh, model is standing in a T pose where the UE5 mannequin is standing in an A pose and that's why the hands look a bit weird. So this is the part where it takes the most time because you want to try to uh, mimic the exact pose um, of the 
X of XBOT to get a be the best animation possible. Again, it's something that you only have to do once and then you can do any animation that you want. So the way you fix this is, first of all, you go to show, you go to character, you go to bones, and then you say show bones, all the bones, and then you try to reduce the bone draw size so you can see a bit clearer as you're working. And then what you want to do is click on edit pose. And now you try to um, update the pose of this guy here to, so it fits the um, character model of the right here. And I'm going to bring it up a little bit. And I'm going to choose the clavicle, bring it up a little bit just like that. And then you can see that the um, the arm is a little bit bent, so I can choose this and rotate it around. And you can see that my fingers are a little bit curled, and where his is not. All right, so we can we can fix that. So I think you get the idea. The more the better you can do this, the the better your animations are gonna get. And <clears throat> it takes a little bit of time, honestly. Um, but again, the good thing is you only have to do it once, so you can move them up. To try to imitate um, whatever you see on the Xbot. So if I play this, you already see um, that the right hand will look a lot better. So once I double click, so you can see it's not flailing around like it did before. Um, so the better you can imitate this, um, the pose of the Xbot, the better your animations are going to become. I'm going to fix the right arm a little bit as well, right here, so I can grab this, move it up, and move the forearm a little bit, just like that. And even, even now, it'll look a lot more better than it did before. The last bit is to just fix all the fingers, and it'll look perfect. So once you have something that you're pretty satisfied with, and it's worth putting some time into this, especially if you want to use a bunch of animations, you basically click the MMA click, uh, kick or the animation that you want. You hit on export selected animations, and you can put them wherever you want. I'm going to just put them in the um, characters mannequins animations folder, and I'm going to put hit export, and you'll 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 have your animation here. Now if I um, go ahead and drag a I'm going to drag a copy of the mannequin right here and I'm going to turn him around and if I choose him and go into the skeletal mesh if I go to the animation section and instead of a blueprint I use a specific animation and I go to and I search for MMA kick I can use the animation that I just created and if I hit play you'll see it playing perfectly now you can see the fingers look a bit messed up and the reason is we didn't fix the finger to be like the t-pose that we just showed now the cool thing is now is that now you can import any animation from uh, mixamo and you can pretty much import it into your character without having to do anything extra so let me show you that so if i go into my assets and where i have the mixamo animations and i hit import and i choose this breakdance animation bring it in Again, it's asking you which skeleton we want it for the X pot. We hit import. So if I play it, you can see it's doing a lot of the more stuff than it, the other animation did. So if I go back to the um, RTG, um, the the one that we created, if I play the breakdance, now you'll see that it maps it as well, and it's working as well. So you can basically bring any animation in from XML, and then you can all you need to do is open RTG and hit export selected animation and export it and then use it on your character. The only thing that you will not be able to do with this are animations in Mixamo which have root movement like this one right here where the character is moving a bit forward and moving backwards and stuff like that and the reason for that is um, if I if we if I show you Unreal Engine the Xbox skeletons root is the hip is the hip and the SK mannequin root is is this this point right here and that's why I can't map properly. Um, so in a future video I can show you how to do this because you're gonna have to use Blender to fix the root of the um, Mixomo skeleton to be the same as the root of the UE5 mannequin and that way you can use the root motion animations as well. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.